I remember the peaks of Girabania, silent watchmen that would stand long after we were gone. We came seeking allies to join us in the fight against the Empire. People who had had enough. People who had suffered every possible indignity. Who had been treated like animals, day after day after day. Are they Imperials? Worse. Skulls. Listen, Lise. Whatever happens, stay hidden and do not intervene. Understood? What? You there! Halt! You know you shouldn't be here. Explain yourself. Forgive me, sir. I, I came to deliver the tributum. Oh, aye. A likely story. Only a fool would dare to come so late. Or, mayhap, a resistance spy. No! No, you've got it all wrong! I, I was waylaid by bandits! I it's not my fault! I said halt! <laughs> Is this a joke? You don't seriously expect us to believe this is a fifth? How stupid do you think we are? It is, I swear, on my mother's life. Spare us. You came late, you lied about bandits, and then you tried to cheat the Empire of its due. Think you can kill them all, including the ones watching from the tower? Even if you did, others would come for him and his family. You'd be condemning them all to a life of hard labor, assuming they didn't just execute them, that is. But it isn't fair. Your bloody fault we're stuck out here patrolling this God's forsaken wasteland. It's your fault I have to listen to people go on and on about how Alan Egan's can't be trusted. I've worked and toiled harder than any man. I'm a citizen, God's damn it. And what are you? A stupid, stubborn little dog who'd sooner bite the hand that feeds him and pine for the good old days. Enough! Lord Xenos is expecting our report. Bastard can't believe his luck. He gets to go home. We should do the same.
Alliance forces have occupied Castrum Orients and taken up positions along the length of the wall. Our patrols have engaged their reconnaissance parties on site, but there have been no significant exchanges, save one. A unit tasked with field testing prototype Magitek weapons was attacked. The weapons were destroyed with the unit sustaining near total casualties. Near total? Go on. My lord, there was but a single survivor from the unit in question, which falls under my command. According to his report, they were ambushed by a contingent of Aorsian Alliance regulars, abetted by resistance insurgents. Hmm. A simple ambush and only one survivor. A fine day's work. The stubbornness to survive is not without worth. He may live. However, the Twelfth is no place for the weak. He shall be relegated at once, my lord. As you say, the Twelfth is no place for cowards who count their lives more precious than the cause. Indeed, indeed. We have no need of cowards. My lord, I... Cowards, who defer critical missions to their subordinates, who hide within their castra, never meeting their prey in battle, never staring into the whites of their eyes. Why? When confronted with a heretofore unknown icon, did we surrender the wall to the Alliance? Because my honored father, in his infinite wisdom, has not seen fit to grant us leave to march on their lands. Accordingly, we have extended an invitation to our neighbors. Gear Abania is where we shall host them. The field upon which we shall enjoy the sport of kings. Patience is paramount. Cornered animals may have spirit, but they are ultimately predictable and very poor sport. But if one dangles the promise of freedom before them while nipping at their heels to stoke their passion, then things become interesting. It is a delicate dance, one which asks much of my house. And so I put the question to you, my fellow huntsmen. How shall we deal with these savages? My lord, I have a proposal. Silence, Alamegan. You do forget yourself. Only by the grace of Lord Van Bailsar were you afforded a place here, and that in name alone. We have no need of your proposals, savage. This savage yearns to hunt her own. The floor is yours, Commander. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> 